Hey, hey, friends! How's everyone doing? If you are coming on live, you know exactly what I'm doing. I'm getting ready using my famous curling iron. If you are watching the live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. I missed you. If you are new to me that you have never seen me live before, drop new. It is nice to meet you. Um, <clears throat> follow me. Um, follow me for more recipes. Follow me for my weight loss journey. Follow me because you love watching me get ready. I go live about many different things. One thing I do love to go live about is getting ready. You can ask me any questions while I'm curling my hair. You can let me know where you're coming in from. I am in Pennsylvania right now. Um, I am from Pennsylvania. I actually was born and raised near the Gettysburg area. If you are near me, let me know where you are. I do not live in the Gettysburg area anymore. I live in Bucks County, which is north of Philadelphia. Um, but let me know where you're coming in from. The other day, you may have heard me say, there was somebody on here from Australia. I know personally because I met somebody from Australia um, when I was in Vegas. They took a 33-hour flight to Vegas. 33 hours to go to Vegas. A flight. Would you take a 33-hour flight from Australia to Vegas? I don't know if I can survive a 33-hour flight because that's like a, a really long flight. And I would need to have like first class or something because wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yep, I'm just getting ready. So you guys may have seen, I am in the Gettysburg area because I am visiting my nieces that are in town for only a short period of time. And this is the only time that we could come to come see my nieces because of the fact that the twins have school, the twins have work, the twins have um, sports, lacrosse, football, oh my goodness like football has started if your kids are in sports drop what sport they play I really love to connect with other moms and dads that have kids in in sports because I love sports I used to play volleyball I play volleyball since seventh grade I love sports love 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 sports but I am curling my hair because we are getting ready to take the kids out um, not sure if you know the local area where I'm at, but they have, um, things for the kids and I love taking the kids, um, to this place and you'll see exactly where we are, but guess where I'm taking them? Guess where I'm taking them? I see a couple people hop on, but they don't let me know that you're on unless you drop in hi. I only person I see is Taylor. Hi, Taylor. That's my cousin. That's my cousin's daughter. Hello, hello, Taylor. She lives in Tennessee. I know where you live. You live in Tennessee with uh, your, near your grandma and your grandfather. My cousin's um, mom, Brenda. How's everyone doing in Tennessee? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, we're going to be going to Hanover. Right now, I'm in New Oxford. We're gonna be going to Hanover, and we're just gonna take the kids out and hang out, and they need to get some energy out. So that's what I love about this area. There's so much to do in this area, in the sense of like kids stuff. They really don't have, I don't know. I like where I live, but some, some stuff around here, I wish they had where I live in Bucks County and vice versa. Some of the stuff that they have there, I wish they had over here so my sister can experience it because she would love it, like the wine festivals and they have like um, kids day um, festivals and they have a lot of stuff that, um, that this area doesn't have and I would love for her to experience that. But a couple of people hopped on, but I'm not sure who you are because Facebook does not tell me who hopped on unless you say hi. 
Um, if you are dropping in, drop a one. If you're seeing that little red button, you'll know you're live because you see the little red button. And if you have any questions for me, let me know, let me know, let me know. I'm just curling my hair so I can get on with the day. Um, it doesn't take that long to curl my hair, but I am running late, so I'm kind of like fudging it. Like, just hurry up and quickly curl it, but it's still, I have to still curl the hair. It just doesn't curl its, well, it kind of curls itself with this thing, but, but I'm just, uh, quickly curling it so we can get going, because the kids are waiting. They just had lunch. I just made them lunch, and now I need to get ready. Hopefully, I'm, if you have picky kids that you have a hard time getting them to eat, food or if they don't have specific stuff like one of my twins oh, he drives me crazy I brought his buffalo chicken with us to travel that I already pre-make you probably see in one of my recipes I make the buffalo chicken I made buffalo chicken for a buffalo chicken pizza wraps taquitos whatever it is and he loves them he eats them all the time well I didn't bring the blue cheese so he is throwing a fit throwing a fit I'm not eating I'm not eating I'm not eating I'm not eating so now he's refusing to eat before we go somewhere and he's refusing to eat so now i'm like well if you don't eat you're gonna starve um because just because there's no buffalo i mean there's no blue cheese you can have ranch my sister has ranch you can have ranch nope he doesn't want ranch he wants blue cheese so i'm like you know what you're just gonna starve and you're just not gonna go with us um if you have picky kids drop picky in the comments i know exactly what you mean because i have one of those and then you hear his little twin chime out, ah, oh, just eat it. Nope, he doesn't want to hear that. He definitely wants someone to hear that from his twin. That's my brother-in-law. He's a pain. I am ready when I'm ready. And we don't have to get there at exactly 1 o'clock because this place gets packed and we'll just be standing in line. I don't want to stand in line, especially since the fact that they don't let you in before 1. My hair is done. I appreciate you. I gotta get going as you just heard my brother-in-law be in a pain and tell me it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching me. Talk to you soon.